Hello, doers, and welcome to this video in which we will explore our point of sale application a little bit more. Have you ever faced a situation where a customer wants to buy more products than what you actually have in stock? It can feel a little bit awkward. But fortunately, Odoo has a solution to avoid all that. With the ship later feature, you can schedule deliveries for later, ensuring that your customer's orders get fulfilled as soon as your stock is replenished. If it sounds promising, let's go ahead and take a look into that together. All right, so let's head into our point of sale application and configuration and settings. And what we will do here is enable the ship later feature. Just going to check it here. And I will ensure that the uh, shipping policy is sent to, uh, set to when all products are ready. Let me save my settings real quick. And uh, that's it for configuration. So just to test it out, we're going to go into our pet crown uh, point of sale. And let's make a sale together. So I will add our um, cut beige tree uh, to the cart. But actually, before I do that, I will just take a look at the inventory levels here. So I'll click on the eye and I see that I have three units on hand. So in order to test the ship later feature, we will just need to buy a little bit more than that. So I will add four cut beige trees uh, into my cart. And I will also pick the customer who already has their address, address saved in our database. So let me just search for um, our really good customer, Johnny, who has his address filled in right here. Perfect. And next up, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on payments. So I have my uh, customer selected here. I will choose uh, payment by cash and I will uh, also select, most importantly, the ship later feature. I need to uh, select the shipping date. I will actually, for the case of this demo, just keep it on um, today, and I will validate the sale. Now that the date is confirmed, we can just proceed the payment and uh, go back into our backend to see what happens with our order. So if I want to track the order that we just created, I will click the orders menu right here, um, and my order is here at the top of the list. So let me just click on that. Perfect. And right away, I can see that I have support button here at the top, uh, pickings. And the, if I click on it, I will see that the status of the picking is currently waiting. This means uh, that the transfer from our stock to the customers is on hold, possibly due to another operation taking place or the unavailability of certain products. In our case, it's the second case, so the products still need to arrive. But you know what? Now that I click on it, after all of this discussion that we just had, I'm pretty sure that the ordered products have actually arrived in the meantime. So I will click on the check availability button. And as you can see, the products have arrived and this has changed to available. Perfect. So now that I have my products in stock, all that's left to do is to deliver them to the customer. So I will click on validate. And as soon as that's done, the order status switches to done, which means that the products have reached their final destination, so the customer's address. And just like that, we've enabled the ship later feature, we scheduled the delivery, and we also track the order status in our backend. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.